All right, class. Bro, that's times two. I've asked you. Put it away. Yep. Now, okay, so for you guys, again, I'll say this again now that you're paying attention. I heard you. Not for grade. You have to go online to look at the video for the review. I will post this one. Not for grade. So it doesn't go in the notebook. So don't tape it in the notebook. Don't try and glue it in the notebook. If you tuck it into the back of the notebook, that's fine. But. It's for you to go and review for your test tomorrow. Okay, now I'll start this over again. Okay, so let's see. All right, so now again, that finishes the conversation. Why you should not do drugs. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. 32, 33 in our notebook. On 33 here, if you guys notice, this one right here is the graph that we did in the warm up. Yeah? Okay, so now watch this. I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick that goes along with this. And this is going to be the basis of everything that we're doing coming up. So I'm teaching it from a graph. So we know that x is negative 5, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write x equals negative 5. What if I want it to equal 0? Yeah. What would I do? Over to the right. yeah. yeah, how would I do that? Add five, right? That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna add five to both sides. So if I add five, I get x plus five equals zero. Okay, the next thing right here. This says x equals negative one. Add one to both sides. So I'm gonna add one to both sides, so it's gonna be plus 1, plus 1, x equals, or I'm sorry, x plus 1 equals 0. There we go. And my last one over here, three. x equals 3, right? Mm -hmm. x equals 3. So if I were to make it equal to 0, that would be x what? Three. Equals 0, right? So what these are, these are actually called the factors of this. These are the factors. So when I refer to them, I'm going to refer to them as the factors. Where is going to factor out because we're going to use something called the zero product rule. So come on, you guys, please, please, please. All right. Please make me look good on this. Class. Yes. Anything times zero is? Zero. zero. Woo, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys made me look really, really good. Thank you. All right, since you guys made me look so good, I'm going to show you guys the zero product rule. Anything times zero is zero. Anything times zero is zero. So anytime one of these things right here is going to be equal to zero, the whole thing equals zero, right? So that's my function. So my function is going to be the quantity like I did right there, I get x plus 5. Right here, I get x plus 1. And right here, I get x minus 3. Those are the factors of this function. Those are the factors of this function. So I'm going to end up with some trinomial when I, if I were to distribute all this out to have all that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Questions? Question, question, question. Anyone have any questions? We, we did something basic here. All right, so let's take a look at this next one now. This one right here. X equals negative 5, right? So if I have X equals negative 5, 
and I have five to both sides, so I get x equals zero. Now, this process of doing the step-by-step -step is super important. It's not about just changing the sign. I need you actually doing the steps because the steps are important, okay? Just because your phone is almost underneath that paper doesn't mean I still can't see it. All right, so the next one right here, we're going to get x equals negative 1, right? So my factor of that would be, say the whole thing. X plus 1 equals 0. Very good. X plus 1 equals 0. What about this one? Positive 2, right? So we start off with X equals positive 2. Then I have to subtract from both sides, right? So I get X minus 2 equals 0. So those are my factors. That's how I get those. All right. And last one. Last one. Let's actually skip the x equals part. So what would I say for my factor on this one? Okay, so x plus 4 equals 0. What about this one? Very good. x plus 1 equals 0. And very good. x minus 2 equals 0. So this is the factored form of this because each time I get one of those equal to zero, the whole thing is going to be equal to zero. And that's where I get those values. So each one of these is a factor of that function. So we can go through and factor this out just by using a graph. Now, what values of x make these equations true? So by using this information that we just did a second ago, this one right here, x equals what? Zero. Minus four. Very good. Because now I'm starting with this, right? I'm starting with this. So if this is, if x equals negative four, this would be zero. And then my whole thing would be zero, right? the whole thing would be zero because they're all multiplied together. These are the product, the zero product rule. So my next one is going to be x minus 2. So x, e, ah, x equals negative 2. And what's this one? x equals positive 1. There we go. So if I were to graph these, I would actually put the points on the x-axis there to be able to graph that. And that would be a start to it. Now, I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes. I want you guys to do these ones here, these ones over here. But once you get to this one, I want you to graph this one in your calculator. Okay. Graph number six in your calculator when you get that. And so then you're going to end up doing the same thing we did here. All right. So I'm going to come around and check to see what you got. Because I know everyone's working on this, right? Everyone. Everybody in here is working on this. He's going first. Give me one second.
Does negative two equal zero? No, so you can disregard that one. Yes, because there's no variable there. What are you on? Do the same steps. Oh, you are doing it. Good job. Yes. How do you use the mouse? Kind of, not exactly. Is there more or less? Uh, I think there might be one more on the same stuff, though. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what's so things like this? What would you do there? Okay, so if that's equal to zero, what's zero squared? Zero. So the square in this case is this one. Oh. And for this, we distribute two or? Nope. You don't have to. You don't have to distribute. Yeah, because does negative two equal to zero? No, since there is no variable, you're not going to get an x value. Okay. How do you zoom out? Oh, don't do equal zero. That's why. Just the function. Okay. Because you're doing you're doing the math of equal zero. Okay, so that's the math you're gonna do on that. So the two is only applied to this parenthesis. It doesn't matter. So does negative two equal zero? No, because you're not gonna have you can't have x equals, right? All these other ones have been zero products. So what values of x? We don't have a variable here, right? So the negative two does not equal zero. Tempted, but right? Because I take each one of these and set it equal to zero. Mm -hmm. So since there's no variable attached to that, does negative two equal zero? Not for that part. Mm -hmm. No, don't distribute. You still in the square? I'm hungry. What? I'm doing my work. First of all, I need help with this while you're right here. No, we're doing. There's not enough crying in here. Okay, shh, please. All right, so now let's go through. 
Now, I'm trying to help you guys out. So, hey, hey, hey. Focus, focus. All right. So, my values here are going to be x equals negative 4. Please, this is... Next one, x equals... x equals... x equals... There you go. Now, on this one, order of operation implies here. So, you do inside the parentheses before the exponent. So, x equals... Negative four, because if it's negative four plus four is zero. Zero squared is still zero. So it's only the negative four there. And for this one? Negative two. Same thing. Again, this is what we were talking about a second ago. This negative two does not have a variable. This negative two doesn't have a variable. Each one of these, so I keep asking, does negative 2 equal 0? No, it doesn't because there is no variable. If there was a variable out here, that would be completely different. I could solve for it. I'm looking for an x value. But since right here, this does have a variable, right? So this one's a no, but this one is going to be x equals 4, x equals, x equals, x equals, very good. Now, on this one, did anyone actually get to this and do the math on it? So I say that this has to be equal to what? Say zero. Set this piece right here equal to zero. Uh, nope. Watch. Off to the side, I'm going to say that 2x plus 8 equals zero. Right? I want the whole thing to equal zero. So what am I going to do here? Minus. So 2x equals negative 8. Divide by 2. x is negative 4. So whenever we have something like this, you do the same thing. So I want you to do the other one now. Do the next one. All right, what did we come up with? Yeah. Is there a fraction? Yes. Yeah, it should be three over seven. Divided by seven, x equals three over seven. Uh, Nazbullo's next. He's waiting on Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> All right, what did I say to do with number six? Yeah. Uh, graph, graph it. Graph it. So everyone's on their calculator right now. What? Number six, I said calculator. George, you're supposed to pick up the calculator and do it. Oh, okay. Uh, Leslie, you gotta ha why don't you just hit Doc B, Leslie? Escape.
There we go. Now do it again. Do your graph. Now you can enter it. <coughs> All right. So scratch pad here. Watch. It's not. This isn't it. Watch. So whenever you pick up your calculator, you want to clear it out because that's where you're going to mess up because someone else has messed with the settings. Document. And the letter B clears off everything. So there we go. So now I have a clear. So it's X squared. X squared plus 3X. And then minus 4. Now, do not put equals 0. There we go. Because if you enter equals zero, then that's the part that you're supposed to be solving for. You're supposed to be telling me where it's equal to zero. Okay, you have two places, don't you? So right here, we get a positive 1, right? Mm -hmm. So if it's positive 1 here, mm -hmm. yeah, it should be a factor of x minus 1, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And over here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be x equals negative 4. But as a factor, it would be x plus 4. Plus four, right? So I went ahead. I wrote down the factors right here because this is the factored form of this. And then I was able to pull these out. Now, what about this thing right here? Is there a variable on this one? No. Say yes. What is my value going to be? One. Not one. Zero. What is it? It is going to be zero because if this is zero, think about it. If this right here is equal to zero, then the whole thing is zero, right? Yeah. So I could say because of this, S equals zero because of that one right there. Now, what about because of this one right here? Okay, it's going to be positive three, right? Now, let me show you why. I'm going to do the math on it. If you notice, it's kind of backwards. So it's going to say 3 minus x equals 0, right? I'm going to subtract 3. Negative x equals negative 3. Divide by negative 1. x is positive 3. So yes, I do get x equals 3 there. Next one is going to be x yep, 0.75. Very good. And I forgot that x plus minus 1, right? Okay, thank you. So x equals 1. There we go. Thank you. All right, so now this next one right here, which is kind of confusing. Okay, it's not the same. So if the whole thing would equal to 0, what number would x be? What would make this thing equal to zero? What would it be? Two. Why two? Because two to, to say four and yep, two squared, right? Two squared is four. Four minus four is zero, right? Yeah. That's very good. That's what we're looking for there. So, but is there another number I could actually get from that?
is there another number that will also give me 4? How about negative? A negative times a negative is? Positive. positive. So will negative 2 also give me? Negative 2 will also give me a positive 4, right? So that's fine. So x equals negative 2 also. You did? I'm sorry. I missed it. But you decided to anyway. Thank you. So we get on this last one, x equals negative 9. All right, so it says write an equation that is true. Why is it every time I look up, you got that stupid thing in your hand? No, don't bring that drama in here now. Please stop. On this one right here, when x is equal to this, so I have these values. So I want to make an equation of this. So I'm going to say that f of x is equal to, now if x is equal to negative 5, what is that factor? Please bring it up here. Just bring it up here. Just, just bring it up here, please. Just come here and set it up here. So if x is equal to negative 5, what is my value going to be? So what would I have? So wh what would I write, though? What would I write for my factors? Say x plus 5. Very good. That's a factor, right? What about this next one here? And this thing right here, how do I say it's zero? Not nothing. Just x. Right? Isn't that what we had over here? There we go. All right, so I'm going to leave off at that point there. Uh, yes, there is more problems, but... This is the main concept I was trying to talk about here. So this is just more practice with the same thing with the graphs, but we did that up here on the top. So don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.